Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm shooting a much requested, very special video with a very special person. Um, today you guys are going to meet my boyfriend, Jeff. Uh, Jeff! You're going to meet Jeff! So we're going to ask each other a few questions, answer them, some easy ones, some hard ones, so that way you guys get to know a little bit more about me, about Jeff, and about us. So, hope you like it. Introduce yourself. Hi guys, I'm Pablo. Jeff. That's not funny. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jeff. You might know me from, or as the guy from Taylor's Instagram. <laughs> and you may know him as Jeff O'Donnell's boyfriend. Mm. Hey, thank you, Good night. Oh my god. We are going to answer a few questions. We're gonna ask each other some questions. We don't know the questions that we're asking one another, so this should be exciting. This is gonna be hard. I'll go first. I'm nervous. <laughs> How did we meet? I was at a trade show and my friend came over to me and was saying like, oh, there's like a cute model at the booth over there. Like next time you're on your way to the bathroom, go look. Yeah, he's cute. Well, like, he's not looking at me at all. Hello. But then I completely forgot about it. And then fast forward probably six months, you slid into my DMs and sent me two waves. Mm -hmm. And I let it sit for a good 24 hours, and then the next day I responded to find that you deleted the message. Luckily, I remembered what his little picture icon looked like, <laughs> and I remembered his first name, so thank you to the Instagram for him being one of the first people to pop up. And I found him and then sent him the same thing he sent me the day prior. I was sitting at home one night uh, over a year ago, and I was on Instagram, and I ran across a photo of Jeff. I was like, oh, this guy's really cute, let me stalk and see um, what I can find out. And so I'm scrolling through his Instagram, I send him two waving hands, and a um, couple hours pass and he doesn't reply. And so I was like, meh, I'm over it. So I unsent the message only to wake up the next morning to the same message from Jeff. So I knew that he had seen it, but did not reply. <laughs> and so that's where it started. Gotta play hard to get sometimes. What was the first thing you thought when you met me? I think the first thing I noticed was that you were just like super easy to talk to. Like I immediately like felt like that you were easy to talk to. I don't know. Um, we'll take it. Yeah, and what, what was your first impression? I was like, oh, like he's real. He's not a catfish. Like, mm. and he looks like his picture, so. Mm. I hope he can like string together a sentence, and if you can, like this is gonna be really fun. What do you think is the one thing that makes us the most different? You and I. You and I. I think our personalities are like vastly, vastly different in the fact. Careful. I'm, I'm like I'm pretty high strung, and you're pre you're pretty laid back. Fair. Yeah, I agree. My favorite character trait about Jeff. We have time, so if yeah. you want to just oh, like yeah. rattle them oh, off. Oh, shut up. I think the like most impressive thing for me about you is like how adaptable you are to like everyone we meet. Like I've never met anyone that you like haven't tried to get along with or like do get along with or like just get along with. I like that. Yeah, adaptability. What is your favorite date that we have been on? I really liked our anniversary dinner. We went to the same restaurant we went to on our first date. Yeah, we recreated our first date for our first year anniversary. It was just like fun. We got a bottle of wine and had a really good dinner. Yeah, we like recreated the whole thing. We like went to the same place. We got drinks before this going to the same place that we got dinner. Even to like the point I think we went to like the same like puppy store. Yeah. That we went to on our first date. What is a valuable lesson we've learned since being together? Good question. We both have different styles of communication sometimes, and we both show how we're feeling in different ways. Yeah. It's like any relationship, um, but I know I've learned how to figure out how you're communicating and what you're feeling. Which I think I something think. everyone should do, every couple should do, is take like the five love languages quiz. It's like a quiz you take, it's super easy and short, and it kind of tells you what your love languages are and what kind of things you value in a relationship. And I think if you take that with your significant other, it is nice to know like what that person values 
in a relationship and what you value. That way you can kind of give that thing, whatever it is that that other person wants to them and they can do the same for you. My, What's your love language? My love language is quality time and yours is a words of affirmation. So, since we know that about each other, we can um, communicate a little bit better with one another. Next question is, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be an architect. Mm. Did you know that? Yes. I used to build like three-dimensional houses out of poster board and draw like floor plans <laughs> and stuff. And I played The Sims a lot, so that was, uh, I really liked building houses on like The Sims. Did you want to be like an actor? Well, when I was in kindergarten, we had to like draw ourselves as an adult and I drew myself on a TV. Mm. So meta. When I was in elementary school to junior high, I wanted to be an orthodontist or an eye doctor. Nice. I have not done either. Mostly because I didn't want to be in school anymore. Right. Tell everyone something about me that they might not know. Oh, that was one of my questions. Um, I just think there's so much more to you that you don't post about. <clears throat> I think one thing that people might not know about you is that you get a lot of joy from seeing your friends happy, seeing the people that you care about all together, rooting for each other, which is hard to evoke on social media, I guess, but sure. also one of your best qualities. Which one of us takes longer to get ready? Uh, Lee, I do. Yeah, I would say so. But it's close. M mine would be like, the art of getting ready, I probably take longer at, but you like procrastinate a lot. So like, if we're like ready to get ready, you like take a while to like start the process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Usually because I'm like comfy or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. If you won the lottery tomorrow, what would you do? Like what would you change? What would you do differently? That's a good question. Something I think about a lot. I would probably pay off my student loans, give money to my family, help them out a little bit, and then like travel together. Maybe like buy a house or something, or a few. Nice. Do you want to answer the same question? If you won the lottery tomorrow, what would you change? I would try and keep it a secret for a yes. little bit. Forever. Yeah, but even from you, like I'd probably go oh. just a day and just be like all excited to myself and then be like, find some elaborate way to tell you. And I would buy a really cool apartment. That's the end of this video. <laughs> and then I'd do like fun things. I'd like produce fun TV shows or theater that I think is a good idea. Because I don't have to care about anything else. Sure. An all male cast of Legally Blonde. Wouldn't that be funny? It's so funny. I think it's funny. At what age did you come out? Brr. Twenty-six. Yeah. I came out at... Twenty-one? Junior? Uh, summer going into senior year of college. Would you change the date if you could redo it? No, I did it pretty, like... I think I did it when I was ready. Like, I was pretty... I was pretty ready at that time. And I don't think I would have been ready before. Fair. That's... Another video. Would you change your time? I wouldn't, and I know by today's standards it's pretty late, but I still stand by my decision because it was when like I was fully ready and I think all the people around me were fully ready yeah, I don't because think, they knew. I don't think there's like today's standard, standards of when you need to come out though. Shh, totally agree, I think, but I think there are also, like kids are fearless these days and people are coming out at 12 or sure. 13. And, sure. Good question. What are my top three favorite artists right now? Or what do you think they are? Ariana. Okay. Cardi. And Kim Petras. That's pretty good. Thank you. I don't know if, I don't know, like, I didn't have three in my mind that I was thinking of, but like those three were pretty good. Good job. Okay. What is one thing I do that makes you smile the most? When you do that, like, disappear behind the blanket. <laughs> so Jeff does this thing where he, like, holds up a blanket like this and then, like, jumps to the side. And so it looks like he's, like, disappeared. That's pretty funny. If animals could talk, which animal do you think would be the rudest? Did someone ask you this to ask me? 
Or did you make, I feel like this, you made this up yourself. I did make this up. I feel like owls would be like really bitchy. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like turning around. Hoot, hoot. Oh my god. <laughs> what is the most romantic thing we've ever done for each other? I, this is very easy. The most romantic thing you have done for me is when I got back from my LA Vegas trip mm -hmm. and I got off the airplane into the airport and he was waiting for me at baggage claim. Like going to the airport is so annoying and it was a surprise and you had coffee for me and surprised me and I also got in at like 8 a.m. So it was a very amazing surprise. You think that's more romantic than any of this stuff in Europe? No, but it's just like, it's such an annoying thing to go to the airport and have to get to the airport that you did for me that that sticks out the most. Sure. We want to talk about romantic things. No, the most romantic thing was probably my birthday gift this year, which was the wine tour in Florence. Yes, that was nice. And the Vespa tour and the cooking class. That was the most romantic. What is something I do that you cannot stand? Dun, 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 dun. I'm kidding. Um, something you do that I can't stand. You eat really fast. I do eat really fast. That was on my New Year's resolution list like two years ago to eat slower. Do we argue? And if we do, how do we get past it? Good question. I mean, yeah, we argue. Mm -hmm. We're human. I think what I do is I make sure that I say everything I want to say if something's bothering me and then make sure that it doesn't last longer than it has to or too long. I say everything, then apologize if I said anything that made you upset mm -hmm. and we never end it angry at each other. Yeah, I think that's good. I think the way I like to deal with arguments or bump in the road is just realizing it is just like a flash in the pan in the grand scheme of things and realizing that it's probably not going to matter in five hours, let alone tomorrow or next week or, you know, five years from now. So just realizing that like the little things truly don't matter. How do you think your life is different now than before we met? Mm. I mean, obviously it's amazing now. Um, I don't know. I think I think a lot more about the future. Like, That's what I was going to say. I thought a lot more about like my future specifically mm -hmm. and how our lives will develop together. I started saving a lot more money. I'm a lot more responsible with spending money and things I do. Like every decision I make now involves you as well. Um, so that's a big change because it used to not involve really anyone <laughs> besides myself. You're welcome. Who said I love you first and how did you know? Good question. I remember this vividly. Mm -hmm. You said it first. I did. Well, do you want to speak about how you knew when you said it? No, you can go first. Okay. I mean, I obviously said it back because I was feeling the same. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't say it first. I was just like waiting for a special moment and I think you caught me off guard when you did say it. Mm -hmm. How did I know? When you know, you know. And I found myself putting your interests and your happiness like at the same level of mine and above mine and I just like cared so much about your well-being and happiness mm -hmm. and I was like whoa like I really care for this human oh yeah yeah I said it first after a date we went on we had just seen a movie and we were walking home and we walked through a park I well we walked past ah yeah yes. this is strategic I said it at the same spot that we met the first day we met, like the exact street corner we had met on the first time we met. And we, it was like out of the way on our walk home. And I was like, hey, like, can we go over here and like stop by XYZ place? And yeah, and so that's how I did it. It was cute. Yeah, I think so too. Good job. What is your favorite thing about our relationship that you can't evoke on social media? I think my favorite thing that I don't share as much of as I wish I could is just like how much I love your family and how much like time we spend with your family and the relationships that I have with like everyone in your family. Like extended family too. Yeah, 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 everyone. Cute. You need some chapstick? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. It's something I could spend hours doing. You could spend hours snacking. That is not true. <laughs> I'll rephrase. You could spend hours watching YouTube videos. Okay. <laughs> that is not true. Oh my God. Okay, I got it. Okay. No, we're just gonna use this. All right. We are down to the last question. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Okay. Who would you say is my best friend? Me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Aww. All right, guys, so that is it. We have answered enough questions for today. I hope you know a little bit more about me, about Jeff, Woo about us. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't already, um, please subscribe to my channel. I would really like that. And, and please get your pets spayed and neutered. Yes, and have a good night.